Welcome to Unfold Data Science friends. This is Aman here and I am a data scientist. In this video, I am going to discuss about conversational AI. So this is one term which is getting searched by many people on the web I am seeing. And the reason for that is this term and tools or applications related to this term is getting very very popular nowadays. So we will understand what is conversational AI, how it works at high level. What are its some of the applications and what are the limitations of conversational AI as of now? Let's start without any further delay. So what do you mean by conversational AI? If somebody asks you this question, the answer to that is very simple guys. The area of artificial intelligence or AI where we work with conversational part of machines, which means we try to make machine as smart as human beings. What is the meaning of that? The way I am talking to you right now, okay? The same way if I can talk to a machine and the way you are understanding what I am telling, the same way if machine can understand and respond to me, that is the end objective of conversational AI. Now how this is different from a traditional chatbot or traditional NLP systems? Let's try to understand very, very clearly guys, okay? So you go to Zomato and then you say, where is my food in the Zomato chatbot I'm talking about? And the answer will come, your food will reach in this much of time, okay? Suppose you, you write one more query on top of that. You say that, uh, how can I cancel my order? One more answer will come. What is happening here is, in chatbots, at least basic chatbots, you will see that it is always one response will come and then it will stop or it will take a pause for you to say something. Try to understand this guys. One question, one answer. One question, one answer. But human conversations or the way I am interacting with you right now is not limited to one question and one answer. It has to be more than that. For example, uh, uh, I am explaining you something and you can tell me, hey Aman, I want to, uh, you are explaining conversational AI. I want to ask if NLP is related to that. That is one question you asked me. And you can also ask one more question. And Aman, I also want to ask if NLG is something related to that. So if you see, the conversation is becoming little complex here. And traditional chatbot systems or question answer systems might not be able to handle this kind of scenario. That is where conversational AI is different from traditional chatbot. Understand this different guys. Question, answer, question, answer. And here, some kind of human to human interaction, that flavor we try to bring. Okay. So you can say one advanced level of chatbot or many advanced level of chatbot. That is what conversational AI. How it works guys. If somebody asks you how, how any conversational AI system works, you can say it very simply, gathering the information. An example will be, I am talking, I am typing, I am writing something, that is nothing but information. That conversational AI system will gather that information, process that information. Process means nothing but NLU, natural language understanding. So the information can be very, very complex guys. And that is the most important thing of human language, it is very, very complex in nature. It will include some kind of sarcasm, it will include some kind of emojis, some kind of emotion. If I say the same word or same sentence in one way, that might mean, some, that might mean something else. Let me give an example. A person enters in a classroom little late and I am taking training in that classroom, okay? So, I can say to that person in many ways. Let me show you one or two ways, okay? I will say, oh, you are coming now, one way. And I can say, oh, you are coming now, second way. Third way, oh, you are coming now. So all these word-wise, it's same, but tone-wise, it is different, you know, meaning is a little different. And me and you as a human can understand that meaning, okay? So NLU is natural language understanding that part of entire AI system which understands the context, the tone, the sarcasm, those part of the input. That is two parts, gathering, processing and understanding, NLU. Third is preparing response. 
response needs to be prepared based on what has been fed and there will be many complex machine learning or deep learning algorithms in between and fourth is how do you present this response how do you deliver this response fourth is the delivery part what are the four important pillars guys gathering understanding formatting response which means creating response and then delivering the response that is at high level in between there will be many complex things what are some of the examples of conversational ai system apple siri is one example if you have used amazon alexa is another example if you have used i am not saying these are very very advanced systems because if you try to play with apple siri or amazon alexa you might get laugh after a point of time okay which means that these systems are not too advanced to interact with humans there might be some systems which are little advanced than these but still not up to the level what we want to achieve i give you some examples of human to human interaction okay this is high level how it works what are some of the examples how it is different from traditional chatbot now what are the limitations guys what are the limitations of these kind of systems if you have observed right if whatsapp has let's say 10 emojis today then there is a possibility that tomorrow some 100 new emojis will come okay i am just telling you how the language is advancing okay uh, for for example some of the short words for example uh, you can say rofl okay rofl is something that we use while texting chatting uh, there can be other words which was not there like 20 years back okay there can be many words like that a w w o some words like this right so few words are evolving with time which means complexity of the vocab or complexity of the language in which human interact is increasing obviously many languages on the planet there is no end to it that is another complex part third part is how do you understand this sarcasm how do you understand the tone how do you understand the intent the correct intent right that is third part fourth part is how do you deliver the result the way you want to deliver the nlu part and nlg part natural language generation part how do you deliver suppose you understand what is the intent you understand the question you prepare your format but how do you ensure that whatever you want to deliver that you are delivering properly to the end user that message is going to the end user selection of right words selection of comma selection of full stop selection of hard stop selection of semicolon selection of a long pause selection of a short pause how do you ensure of these things right which human use these are some of the challenges with any kind of conversational ai systems okay i can show you in practical how to build some basic conversational ai some basic chatbot using rasa and new framework which is uh, not a difficult thing to do because that model is already there and you have to just utilize that model it will create your uh, chatbot in a efficient way at least more efficient than the basic chatbot what you and me have to understand is how these systems work what are the limitations what is the overall process what are some of the examples of these systems and what is advancing in this space if you are aware of this much in this conversational ai uh, area you will be able to talk to people on this topic you will be able to answer to questions on this topic and uh, you will be confident give me a thumbs up guys if you like this video drop me a comment if you want me to create a rasa and new video i will do that for you and also please subscribe to the channel guys if you have not done yet i will see you all in the next video wherever you are stay safe and take care